Hello and welcome to Mutt Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with a fairly large package right here and what will hopefully be a whole day of openings. So, these were supposed to come out on Friday the 20th, which was the pre uh, midnight pre-release for Crimson Invasion. Uh, however, they didn't arrive and they arrived Monday. I wasn't in, so I had to pick them up Tuesday which is when I'm opening these. So, <laughs> let's get into this, as I am quite excited to see what these look like. Um, and, I, I, you know, I, I love I love opening these. And you guys probably already know by the title what exactly is going on here. And there they all are. All three of these, right there. So, of course, I am talking about tins. Which tins in particular am I talking about? The brand new autumn tins, which actually I'm not too sure what these ones are sort of called. Mysterious powers, there you go. So we have our three tins right here, two upside down, of course. Three tins right in front of us, right there, right now. Let's bring this in a little bit, put this down as well. And... I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. So let's see what we have here. First off is Necrozma. Very, very nice indeed. Of course, there's the a, a GX card. It's the exact same one as uh, before. However, it is uh, a uh, alternative artwork, which is pretty sweet. The tin looks absolutely amazing. The next one is going to be Ho-Oh, which looks... Oh my gosh, that looks really, really cool. Ho-Oh on the front, massive spread wings there. Awesome stuff indeed, that is amazing. And the last one, if you haven't already guessed, is of course Marshadow GX. So, all of these came out within Burning Shadows. And we've got reprints for them all, which is uh, pretty pretty sweet indeed. But uh, I like how also the pattern sort of continues along all of them, it's really, really cool. Um, I don't know, it, it looks... Uh, what's the... Is it Af I don't know whether it's African or Australian artwork where it has that repetitive sort of arty, arty farty looking lines, but um, <laughs> the, these are what we have in front of us. I think what we're going to do is probably open them in order of favourite, which could be a mistake, as we could open something amazing in the first one and something rubbish in the last one. I'm just saying, that's what these tins can do. So with that, we'll open the Crosma first, then Ho-Oh, and then Marshadow GX. But very, very cool indeed getting all of these. That is super duper stuff indeed. So we'll put our first two, or uh, second tins, second and third tins off to the side. There is Necrozma right there, the tin in which we are going to be focusing on opening today. Or, uh, sorry, the first one for today. We'll open all three of these in one day. So, let's do it. A purple tin. Is this the first purple tin? No, we've had Magina, and we've also had Mew too. So, yeah, there's been quite a few purple tins. But, here we go, let's do it. Let's cut into this. Now, of course, there is codes on the in, inside for the actual promo card, which I will be keeping. But if I do open any more of these tins, which could be likely, we've done it with the Machamp one, um, then definitely look out for that. But there we go. Nice. Uh, it's the uh, one where all the graphics are sort of like... Uh, is it embedded? Not embedded. But it's like um, coming out of the, uh, the actual tin. Very, very cool. Little plastic area there for the uh, Necrozma GX, but let's lift the lid off this tin right here. Oh, we do have burning shadows, very cool. Let's pop that out. We'll get to what the cards are in a second. Let's just try and get Necrozma out without revealing the code. <laughs> ah, hold on. If I just do it this way, I could probably just lift it out like that. There we go. And then the code it's a white code. We're gonna get something good. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, they've given me two codes. Have a code. There you go, an Acrosma GX code. And I, just to prove this, there are two codes. They literally were together. That is insane. Never seen that before at all. Let me know if you've seen that before. That is amazing stuff. So already, pull number one being a Necrozma GX. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, we have the... I think we have two of the normal artworks. We might have a rainbow rare. I'm pretty sure we do. And we've also got... Uh, I think we might have the full art as well. So we've got everything for Necrozma now, including that promo. Very, very nice indeed. 
Um, so, I'm, I can see we got two burning shadows. I'm going to hopefully guess there's a Guardians Rising and maybe a Sun and Moon. But we're probably going to get some sort of random pack. That's my guess anyway. Oh, is it Evolutions? Oh, it is Evolutions. Why? Evolutions, Guardians Rising with Lycan Rock. Oh, hello. Marshadow GX. Uh, sorry, Marshadow on the Burning Shadows as well as Necrozma. We'll open them from oldest to newest. That's how we'll do this. Let's just place everything back on the tin and have something in the background to cover up Charizard. He's on the Evolutions pack. What can we get? Now, the only thing we need from Evolutions really is a Hollow Gyarados. So if we can get this in this, it's set complete. Not that that's going to happen, but you never know. So, I mean, we could get something really good, but what's the chances of that happening? One, two, three, and four. Bring them to the four. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not four. <laughs> I almost ruined that then. <laughs> okay, so we got a coughing, Kakuna, Charmeleon, Charmander, Magnemite, Water Energy, Growlithe, Machop. Reverse Growlithe and Eradicate. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Ugh. Why put evolutions in? Put a Sun and Moon in. We're in Sun and Moon now. We don't want any evolutions. Guardians Rising though. Ooh. What if we got a Lele? That would be pretty cool. It's not the. F it wouldn't be the first time actually that we pulled a Lele. So who knows? Two, three, and four. Four this time. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got a Water Energy, Wismacot. Vanillish, Choice Band, Gothita, Cast Form, Tentacle, Clefairy, Litwick, a Reverse Comfy, which would normally be a Hollow, and a Dramper GX. Yes! I'll take a Dramper. 100% take a Dramper. That's awesome. Pull number one from the tin being a GX, and also, you know what, we'll put the Comfy up because that is a Reverse Hollow. That is pretty sweet indeed. So we now have two Burning Shadows packs. I'd be happy to get maybe another... Uh, Hollow, maybe another GX if, if this tin loves me. But we never know. Let's pull out the card, uh, the code card, sorry. One, two, three, and four. Bring them to the front. Let's go for a troll fairy energy. No, okay, it's dark. Okay then. Dark energy, escape rope, gloom, acer roller, good card, sneasel, venipede, horsey, cutie fly, ladybird, reverse esper, and a Machamp GX, come on, this is what we're talking about, very, very nice indeed, a Machamp GX and Dramper GX, and a stupid Esper, <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool, wow, two GXs, surely we can't make it three, that would be insane, insane stuff if we can do three, okay, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Bring that to the front, then spin it around. We get a water energy. Water energy, Lunatone, Plumeria, Cedra, Ralts, Tangela, Tynamo, Crabrawler, Inke, Reverse Simi Sage, and a Beware. Okay. Very nice indeed. Well, you know what? I will definitely take him a Champ and a Dramper GX. Dramper is uh, a pretty playable card. A lot of people like to play him. Uh, I think it's with Garbodor. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Really, really cool indeed. Um, Machamp and Dramper GX right there in this tin. And of course, the Necrozma as well. So that is a pretty good tin. Can any of the others beat it? I'm not too sure. I think we've done a pretty good standard here. It might just be the type of card and how sort of uh, monetary it is. But very happy to get a Dramper and a Machamp GX. We will definitely check out the rest of the tins today. Um, we'll sort of do them stage by stage, probably like one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, very cool indeed. Machamp GX, Dramper GX, and an Necrozma GX, plus a few uh, reverse reverses. Nothing, nothing major, but uh, awesome GXs. Super duper happy. Let's just see what we can get in the other tins. So uh, I'll leave it there for this video, and I'll see you in the next tin opening.